Hey guys, welcome to the Prosperity Health Alliance. Yours truly, Wade T. Lightheart, with a brand new road podcaster, Mike, here to come in at you live and loud with my good buddies, Mr. Creel Hutchison and 6823, Mr. C. Tom and Kiyos. What's up, brother? Yeah. Hey, we're all here. We're all loving it. Thank you so much. Awesome. So, uh, epic day, epic time, epic month. Uh, teams are exploding. Um, everybody's dream situation. I'm going to share, guys, what the dream situation is for you and your business right off. I'm going to congratulate Mr. Top. Mr. Top going dash three this month. And as a leader in your organization, there's nothing better when you have somebody in your group go past you. That is the ultimate situation that you can get and you can dream for and you hope for so we are so pumped see ya. I know you're gonna get to this and I'm just so excited for you brother give us some love tell us what's happening over there you know what I gotta give the love back it wasn't me it wasn't an I thing it was uh, an us and it was a we thing um, I owe it all to you guys I owe it all to the team I owe it all to you know, uh, and magic uh, to get here and to be here is a, absolutely a, a dream come true. And magic says, "Dream big." That was what you stood on stage and just said, "Dream big." Who would have guessed? Uh, you know, eight years ago that uh, I would be living the dream with you guys. I am here. You know, all the stress and all the strain and all the struggle that I went through with the loss of uh, the financial crash in 2008 was it worth it? I can look back and say, absolutely, yes, it was worth it. Back then, I was, <laughs> no, it, it, what, what's going on? Hey, what did I do to deserve this, right? You showed up at the office, acid <laughs> reflux, financially screwed, and totally stressed out, not knowing what to do. And, no. like, I mean, you were, you were at the end of your, like, from the top to the, like, you, heard, you hear the stories about the guys from the basement to the penthouse. He went from the penthouse to, the, to like, below the basement. He was down to the foundation when he showed up there. I had no idea. So you never know where someone is. And now today, how, how would you compare your life to, let's say, before even the crash? I mean, you were a very successful, you know, mortgage broker. You had a massive business. You had all the, 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 the trappings of Americana success, right? You had all of that. How would you compare that to right now? You know, uh, I, can, I can compare it with this way. There's no way I would have ever even considered any other business. I was so in love with my old business, so passionate about it. You know, something that I did for 20 years of my life that um, I never, ever thought I would try anything new, especially something in this multi-level marketing, especially in network marketing. But you know what? Entrepreneurship, the purest form of entrepreneurship is network marketing. You're, you are only as good as you are as a, a networker. That's what we are. We are networkers. You, know? um, you need something. I hope, to, I hope I know somebody who's the best at it so I can refer you. So uh, where I was then and where I am now, would have never ever thought it would be a reality. Um, I know that it is now, and I can say it with the utmost confidence that everybody has the same opportunity. Everybody has the same vehicle that, that we've chosen to get to this level. But I think even better than when you and I and, and even Creel had it because we, you know, we've made mistakes. Hey, we made mistakes along the way. I made mistakes. I still make mistakes. But you know what? We correct really fast because that's, that's, that's in us. That, you know, as, as businessmen, as professional um, um, uh, businessmen and women, that's what we do. We just correct what we what, what's not working. So uh, I believe everybody that is you know taking advantage of our system here, the Prosperity Health Alliance, and, and, and all the trainings that we've got, and all the webinars, and all the things that you can plug into in Magic nowadays, boy, you guys, you have it. You have it so much better than we did. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I mean, hey, you you know. You're dealing with me at first, and anybody knows. I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm no Creel Hutchinson. I am not an organizational master. I am not down on the skills and the details and everything. And and let me say, what Creel has brought to the table with Prosperity Health Alliance and the organization and the structure and the input that he's put with this system that we've built. And if you're not using the system, guys, you you. I'm telling you, this is taking years and years off your business. 
and it's and it takes out all the scale problems that you have when you go beyond 5A because you start running into very, another set of problems when your business starts growing and the pH alliance is here at scale so Creel about ready to hit a bus another new rank next month I know we're just sitting on the trigger just going yeah, okay we're gonna hit the button and it's done so uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about skills and I mean I know you're excited we've got September 11th coming and uh, this is a good September 11th it's not a bad September 11th this is like you know we're, we're building something what got blown up in September 11th like years ago in 2000 now we're building our own towers of power that are going to stretch around the world and unify the world. Are you excited about September 11th? Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to just congratulate Siha. Um, get to Dash 3 is a serious investment in time, energy, patience, leadership, travel, all of it. It's really uh, something. So uh, Siha is a good friend and a business mentor. I'm super happy for you and your family and also what that means for your whole organization and team. So congratulations, and uh, I'm looking at my friend Wade. You're next. We're gonna get the boys both to dash three, and it's a great thing for the whole PH Alliance because when you go dash three, you get to sit at the inside circle with Mr. Oshiro and start to get invited to the dash three membership uh, meetings, and that can really give our team and our um, dreams a, a, a voice in that leadership circle because I, I think there's a, you know, we represent a different type of distributor in an agic, um, and now we've got, you know, Wade and Seha are going to be sitting in that table uh, in the next couple months. Uh, so I'm super excited for all that that means to the whole team and, and it's just an acknowledgement that you know, what we're doing here is working and people are, are benefiting and growing great businesses and changing lives. So um, new ranks is a new rank for the entire team. Yeah, very exciting. So in, in light of that, so let's get down to some training tonight. So what we're going to do, we've got a three-part training. I'm going to hit the first part, Creel's going to hit the second, and we're going to follow up the anchor, the cleanup man, the DH, Mr. Seahaw Top. So let's get into this tonight. Yes. And uh, so i got to click on play. Don't, isn't that right, Kim? I think so. All right, there we go. Play mode. Boom. Boom. So let's talk about this. We're going to look at three keys to success in an adjective. There's a lot of things that people are talking. Uh, there's a lot of different things that people get caught up on. They get caught up on points. They get caught up on the compensation program. They get caught up on a particular thing. But I've narrowed this down. So studying, and, and we've got a ton of 6As and 6A2s and 6A, and now we've got a 2-3 in, in my organization. So, And I've studied all of the top organizations in the company. I've worked with literally everybody that you see on that stage uh, for those of you in that. I've got to work and spend time and ask questions of. So what I'm going to share with you is three things and just three things that I want you. So if you got a pen and paper, I want you to take it out and I want you to write these three things down because this is what your success is going to be determined by. Just these three keys. So here we go. Vision. What's your vision? If and, and, and that vision has got to be a vision that's your vision, not anybody else's. So, for example, one of the things that I think a lot of people make a mistake is, is they, they, they try and make a vision that's somebody else's. What Seha wants might be different than what I want. What Eli wants might be different than what Creel wants. Okay? What... Uh, Cynthia Brigante wants might be different than all of what we want. The thing is, is are you clear about what you want? Some people get started in this business because they want to make an extra 500 bucks a month. Some people get involved in this business because they want to improve the health of somebody. Some people get started in this business because they want to have more connection in your life. But at the end of the day, if you don't have a vision for your life, what do you want? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? How do you want to be there? Who are the people you want around there? Like, what, are the, what is your vision? And if you don't have a vision for your life and how this business is going to support it, it's very, very difficult to be successful. And that vision can change. That vision can evolve. But if there's no vision, it, it, there's no meaning to what you're doing. There's no, there's no emotional juice, and believe me, you want the emotional juice behind your business. If you have that vision, that will get you through difficult times, 
if you have that vision that will inspire other people because most people don't have a vision for their lives they want so they'll, they'll participate in someone else's so the clearer you can be about your vision the clearer that you can share that vision and the clearer that you can invite people to partake in this vision so you know if you look at mr. Oshiro's vision of a company and what that is if that's what's allowed this company to spread you know sp sp spreading true health one family at a time physical financial and spiritual health that's what his vision was very very simple message and I didn't grasp that nine years ago when they first came to Vancouver and they did that meeting and I and it was all in Japanese bad English translation and Mr. Chiro went up there and drew three circles I didn't understand the depth of what he meant in his simplicity and your vision can be grand but it needs to be simple and it needs to be clear and it needs to be something that gives you juice okay so look at your vision make what your plan is what your one year your five year your ten year your three year you know all those things and then break it down to your 90 day and then what are you gonna do over the 30 days and what are you gonna do this week and then what are you gonna do today really just you, you work backwards from the vision you go all the way to the end and work backwards because then it makes every little task have meaning and when every little task has meaning you're gonna do a great job on it and you're gonna attract great people but if you're doing things and you don't have that, then it doesn't go in. And, and you know, there, there's the old saying, I think it was Solomon way back in, the, in biblical times, said, hey, when the vision, when there is no vision, the people will perish. So your business will perish without a vision. And, and, and I tell you, the guys on the line here, they've got great visions for their lives. And they're working towards it. And they're exciting about it. And enrolling the people around them in the vision. Second thing, and Krill's going to expand on this in his section of the talk. And that's skills. What makes you go from vision to uh, actuality is skills. You, you know, Eric Worre talks about this. There's seven skills that you've got to develop inside of this business. Inviting is one of the biggest ones because lots of times you can get people that can do all the other skills, but you got to get down to invite. You know, for me. I had one really good skill I, I could present. So I spent a lot of time working that one skill so that I could help all the people in my organization who were good at inviting. So you, you, you can take one skill. If you can, you're really good at one skill, and if you have one skill you got to get good at is inviting. Um, but from that, you, you take that one skill, and then you start scaling everything else up to the level of your best skill or putting in the people in your organization that can help you uh, during that process. But ultimately, if you want to get to the ultimate level, you want to get to the two threes and above, you got to have all seven skills. You can get lucky in the business, no doubt about it. But without the skills, you're not going anywhere. And uh, I think the great thing is these skills are learnable by everybody. They're not natural born skills. They're learnable. People look at my presentation ability to present well, that was a learned skill. I learned and spent years and years and years on that particular skill. So, uh, and it just happened that the business fit. Some people are good at inviting. Some people are good at other things, and they'll fit inside this business really, really well. And uh, so that's a that's a great thing. Okay, so understanding skills, what those skills are, what skills you don't have, and then you know, skilling up, learning, and recognize this is a career. Treat it as a career. Treat this as a ten-year career. You treat this as a 10-year career like you are going to med school or something like a lawyer school or something like that or engineering, and guess what? In 10 years' time, you'll make more money than that. But you've got to have that vision and understand so that the skills, the, 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 the pain or the effort it takes to develop those skills, the, the time investment it takes, the financial investment it takes to, take, to learn these skills will now translate over. So that's really what it comes down to, skills. So we've got vision first, we got skills second, and now we got third. The number one skill is hustle. It's, it's like a super, it's, it's beyond a skill. You see, skills are learned traits. Skills require uh, education or talent or, you know, what a variety of different things, and you, you can develop it, believe me. 
you ask any person who's called gifted or talented and you'll find out there's a history of real hard work. But you can have a great vision and you can have all the skills in the world, but you need another element. And this element is called hustle. And there's a guy on the internet, uh, I was just at a seminar with him, we were speaking on the same stage, it was really awesome because I, I, I admire him, he's very different than me. His name is Gary Vanderchuk, Gary V. So we were doing a uh, we were doing a talk down in Las Vegas uh, in Amplify just a, a week before the big event convention. I was at, speaking at another engagement. And he was talking about that. And he was saying, look, and this guy's making like gajillions amounts of dollars. I mean, he works really hard. He goes, look, the one thing he goes, I know that I can control in my business is hustle. He says, in fact, it's the only thing I can control in my business. I can't control anything else in my business, but I can out-hustle anybody. And I thought about that for a while. And I thought about Romy Verdera's first 90 days. The guy got exposure to 500 people in 90 days. He was doing two, three, four, five presentations a day sometimes. 90 people, okay? Amazing. And when I looked at the guys that brought me in, George, they were packing it in here in Vancouver. They were doing two demonstrations every single day. Some days they were seeing five and six people, and they would do it. He came up here for uh, 10 days. He went home for 10 days. He came up here for two weeks. He went home for a, a week, and he came up and did another two weeks. And then he came up for, for three, four, five days, sometimes a week, every month after. And you know what? The guy that brought him in, Sam, he went six day in 90 days. Actually, I think it was 72 or something like that. And George had gone down in 70 days. So you look at the superstars. You look at the people who are winning. You look at the people who are making the big income. You look at the people who are making their dreams come through in their vision. And I've asked them all. I've asked the guys in... It, you know, in, in GPM, I asked people in Eli's group, I asked people in Danny D. McCauley's group, what is the one common trait amongst the people who are making all the money and making the most impact? Hustle. And I can tell you what, Seha hustles more than anybody in, in magic. Period. He's a hustler. Look at Cynthia Brigante. Cynthia Bigante is making millions of dollars, and what do you see her? You see her on Facebook every day. She's flying to a new country, and she's locking in new leaders. Hustle, 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 hustle. At the end of the day, that is what's going to make your dreams come to fruition. So the question is this. Which of these keys do you need to work on? Is it your vision? Is it the skills, or do you really have to just get out and hustle? We know it's worth it. We know that the income is there. We know that people are buying. The company just is going to hit 15,000 machines this month. 15,000, best month ever in company history. We're gunning for 20K. So it's not the product. It's, it's not the product. We've got a great company. We've got a great product. We've got everything in our favor. So what is it? Do you have is, is the vision not big enough to get over the fear or the challenges? Is the vision not big enough that you want to go invest and learn in the skills, the time, the energy, or the finances? Right? Or do you have all that stuff but you're not really hustling? Which is it? Is it two of the three? Is it all three? Whatever it is, just be honest with yourself. And then Put those things up on the board, put vision, skills, and hustle, and decide which one you're going to work on, or all of them, and put them up someplace where you're going to see them. And ask yourself the question, did I work towards my vision today? Did I develop a skill that's going to help me get to my vision today? Did I hustle? Because if you are doing this in this business, it will reward you in ways that you can't possibly imagine. So I, I'm super excited. I'm so grateful and pumped up. The question is, is, are you ready to take that next step? Is this the night? Is this the night you step into it? Let's find out. So 
I'm going to turn it over to my good buddy, uh, Mr. Creel Hutchinson, because Creel's going to jump in here and he's going to talk about the skills. He's going to talk about the skills. So uh, if we can get you back on the screen here. That would be awesome. There we go. Yeah. We're yeah, good. you're ready. You're ready to rock. And then if Kim will send over the uh, the PowerPoint. There we go. Good. And uh, I'll uh, I'll get out of here if I can too. Everyone's just Bear with me and take it away, Mr. Like Crew Hudson. All right. Uh, thanks so much for that, Wade. Is my PowerPoint up? It is there. Okay, terrific. Um, well, it's the vision, skills, and hustle. That pretty much sums up, you know, what we're getting to. Um, I'm going to walk us through a little bit of an overview on the skill set so people can get really familiarized with themselves with that. It's going to be a reminder, hopefully. Um, but here, you know, here's the basics. So sharing your message. That really is sharing your vision. You know, how many people are you seeing your business on a daily, weekly, monthly time period? You know, what's your impact? What's your message? Uh, this will be the hustle and the vision coming into it and really sharing your forward what, what you want to share here. You know, uh, why you're doing it, telling stories, asking questions. What do you want? How bad do you want it? Are you satisfied? 90 days can change everything. And, you know, we're moving into a, the last quarter of the year, September 1st to December 15th. It's a great hundred days to really make an awesome Christmas, but even more than that, it's, it's a time to you know, redefine your business, break new ranks, bring new people on board, so exciting time of the year. Here's the mediums that we operate in, your friends and family. So if this is a new person seeing this for the first time, you know, we want to hit the warm market and tell our story, share our vision, ask questions, create intrigue around our friends and family. We can also use social media as a way to uh, get more contacts, also to uh, show what we're up to, uh, start promoting the lifestyle and so forth. Vending booths and events, if you wanted to really crank it up in the next quarter, uh, maybe getting yourselves in front of a whole bunch of new people, so the booths and the events will do that. Um, heading out to networking events, online um, networking events, you know, join uh, chat rooms, join follow blogs, uh, become involved, go seeking new people and um, fresh information into your business. And then internet marketing, uh, everything from, you know, if you know you're going to be traveling somewhere, entering into the Google search engine for Facebook of, uh, you know, people who are interested in yoga in, you know, Medford, Oregon, and go check out who's there and, and introduce yourself. So there's a lot of different ways to do this internet marketing piece. Um, and then prayers. Um, I think, you know, being really clear on your vision and asking for support and, uh, you know, putting the work out there and just, uh, you know, being in alignment to that personal development side. Here's the basic steps. Do you know how to invite and help educate your prospects with ease? Here's the reality. People aren't buying from you because they don't see value. And, and I, when I have somebody in that position, I realize that I've kind of let them down. I, I haven't, my skill set um, has not allowed me to educate this person to a place where they're ready to take and make a, a decision moving forward. So we have to make it real easy for new people. And uh, generally, there's a step-by-step -step process that's going to happen. And knowing that it's going to be multiple exposures before the person trusts you, trusts the products, has enough value, you know, their questions are answered, and they're going to say yes. Right? Be organized and stay committed to your time frame. This is how many hours a week you want to do it. So inconsistency breeds inconsistent results. You know, if people aren't following forward, check where you're not following forward to. I, I always look at my business as a personal representation of what my behavior is and what's happening. So um, the mindset. Be in the mindset of what you can do in 90 days versus what you can't do. And I'm sure all the leaders, and we're all leaders on this call, what you want to hear from people is what, you, what they can do for themselves and for their business, what they can't, not what they can't do. Right, so it's a simple mindset shift, but that powerful set really aligns in with our vision you know, and moving forward, being emotionally invested and realizing you can do it. So the basics are the inviting formula. So it's to be in a hurry. Give a sincere compliment to someone that there's a, you know, everyone likes that and then there's a little bit of a connection. And make the invitation. You know, uh, wow, it sounds like uh, you're interested in health. Um, if I send you a link, would you be willing to look at it? You know, so if I do this, would you do that? Then number five, get the commitment. They say yes. You say, great, when can you do that? Oh, I'll do it at this time. Great, confirm the time commitment. 
Then number seven, schedule the call and the phone number best to reach them at and then get off the phone or, or leave the meeting or, or whatever or go on to another topic if you're you know, in a social gathering. So the inviting formula, I do this over and over and over again because this is the million dollar skill. And there's different ways to do this, but if in general we want to coach and mentor people how to do this correctly. So be in a hurry, give a sincere compliment, make the invitation. You know, if I do this, would you do that? You know, get the time commitment, confirm the time commitment. When you go from that, you move from maybe you know 10% success of getting a follow-up call with somebody to 80%, right? It gets real when someone makes a time commitment. You schedule the call time and the best phone number to reach them at, and then get off the phone or move on to another topic. This is the basics of the inviting formula. This is the skill set, everybody. Template emails. This can be found in the uh, PH Alliance uh, training system. Uh, one of the emails in there gave you a link to Dropbox that had to, you could download. These are all the templates um, set up in your you know, email account. Review these emails. These will be the most used, 90% of the information people are looking for and what you need to study to be really up to speed with the knowledge base is all found right there. So when I'm exposing someone and I've created interests, then I need to send the right information. So getting organized is really easy. So send your emails or your specific links via text to educate your prospects, your smartphone office as I like to say. Um, build a foundation of trust and education before you can open a new business. Be patient. right? Realize, oh, I gotta, I gotta help this person seven times before they're more, they're more likely to say yes to me. So, here's the Enagic business overview steps. Number one, get people interested in your product or business through asking questions, telling your story, and listening. This is us just mingling out in the world. This can be either a passive or active. If you're turning up the hustle, you're going to go make this happen. If you're more in a passive mode, you want to get like two conversations a day with people. Right. Number two, invite them to take a look at some information related to their interest. So you do the inviting formula. Number three, send one of the template emails or links to help educate them on their specific interests. So I don't send four or five emails. I send the demo usually. Maybe if they're an athlete, maybe I'll send you an athletic thing. Um, if they've got some health issues, maybe I send something relevant to that. But really the demo sets the tone of the initial overview education. Then, and you've got a 10 minute demo, we've got 20 minute demos. Choose the right one that you think will fit for them. So ask them, hey, if I send you a 20 minute demo, can you watch it? Sure, I can watch it. When can you watch it? I can watch it tonight. Great, so if we talk tomorrow, you'll have for sure watched it. Yes, so how about I call you in the morning? 10 a.m., does that work for you? No, that doesn't work for me. How about noon? Okay, that works. Great, thanks so much. Enjoy. Off the phone, moving forward. Here's number four, follow up with a call to see what did you like best about the demo? Real simple, follow up as you already have booked the time session. So, number five, repeat the inviting formula to provide more information, handle questions or objections, or invite to three-way calls. So you might have to repeat these steps over and over again. So when I follow up with somebody, say, oh, I, I really like this part of it, um, but I got some questions around this. Oh, wow, that's a great question. If I send you a video that explains that, would you watch it? Sure, I'd watch it. When could you watch it? You know, you just keep doing the inviting formula over and over again. So, you may wish to offer a 21-day water trial to add more value into their process. This is an optional step. Uh, from past experience, we realize 50% of people really like this and it moves people forward. Number seven, continue to educate and using the inviting steps three to five. Right? So, providing a little bit more information and following up with them, more information following up, water trial following up, more information following up. So you're looking at about seven ways to connect to the person. Rather than sending all this information in the beginning that no one's going to look at, send one step at a time. Right? Use the tools that we've provided in the template emails. Those are great video links. They can email or text to someone. Number eight, now they like everything. You've educated them. They've had a good experience on the water trial. Now you want to explain the difference in the water systems and the financing plans. So you send them some information and you book a follow-up. Right? Maybe you do a three-way call so you get one of your leaders who are a little more experienced in this allowed to guide that process. Number nine, you place the order immediately. Don't wait. I have found in this business when you wait, you run the risk of losing a sale. And I don't know why people do it, but we make excuses at times. Oh, well, I'll do it at this point, or you know, I'm in this flight. Whenever someone's ready to buy, 
you should be selling them as soon as you can, right? And getting collecting all their information so that you have it and you're ready to put it in. If you wait, more than likely something's going to happen. You do it enough times, you're just going to see that happen. You're going to lose sales. So do it immediately. And number 10, duplicate. Repeat this process and connect new people to the PH Alliance training system so they can start the learning and you can start to follow up with them, providing your own coaching and mentorship, but you want to keep prospecting new people and taking them through this education cycle. The hustle part of this is how many people do you want to talk to in 90 days? You can coast through it or you can go much faster. Right? Know your tools. What video links do you want to send them? Really, there's about a dozen videos that I, I send to people. How do you send them? Text, email, Facebook, whatever medium you're working on. Product versus business, it's based on your conversation with them. Right? Choose one or two links to get their attention. Then you invite them to see some more. Follow up, what did you like best? Then invite to see some more. Don't over overload with information. Additional information can happen later. Right? Be patient. I generally see that it's about a three to six week uh, sales process with our system when you do it properly. You want to get those contacts you know, fairly close together, but it's still going to take a little bit of time. You need multiple exposures. So we use Vimo, YouTube, Dr. Donaldson, Rise, um, EWS, uh, Health Success Center. There's so much great information out there. So this can all be accessed through the training system. You know, this is the template emails. And from there, that's the basic overview of the skill set. That's what you want to do. That's what our businesses are made of, of doing all that stuff. And as you do it, you also learn. You'll watch all those videos. So your information and your education will go higher. So from there, Wade, I'm going to pass it um, back to you or maybe even just um, over to Mr. Hustle himself to um, kind of pick up the pace here and um, take it through the 90-day all-out massive action side of things. Thanks so much, girl. i got to say, every time I watch you go through these things, I go, oh, oh, yes. oh it's so good. It's so organized. You know, it's like sometimes um, you've got to remember as a leader, um, you you're only as good as your ability to train other people. So you might have some skills that are, you, you have, you don't even know that you have them, they become natural to you, but one of the great things that Creel brings to the table is that he's able to actually extract, oh, these are the things that I can actually break this down into a sequence of things, so it's not, oh, auto magic, or oh, I'm just magic out of it, and I really appreciate that. But uh, thanks so much for that, we're, we're gonna, before we go to questions, we're going to go to questions, and we do invite questions at the end of this, and we're going to talk about the September 11th event, and we're going to talk about the 20K pin. 20K pin, folks. Everybody's going to participate here. Let's go over to the Hussein of Hustle himself, Mr. Seahawk the Cambodian freight train. What's happening? What's happening? Tell us about, uh, because one of the things, that, like, for you, the little guys that don't know, when we started out, Seahawk went straight to hustle. I mean, there, there was a lot of hustle, and he asked me if I would participate in that start, and he hasn't let off the gas yet. Talk about that, Seahawk, and maybe talk about what happens if you don't hustle, too, because you've seen both sides of the equation, right? What, what's, what's good and bad? So hit it, brother. Oh, you're on mute. You're, mute. you're muted. Am I on? Thank you, guys. Creel, that was absolutely phenomenal. Um, you guys, if you didn't uh, get the notes on that, I'm sure Creel will send you the PowerPoint, so we'll get the PowerPoint up for you, but that was absolutely the best uh, piece of advice, and then Wade kept it really simple, and I'm, I'm, I'm of the mindset of keeping it simple myself, and, and, you know, Wade, with the, the vision, um, and then the skill set, and the hustle, and like Wade said, I didn't have the skill set to begin with in this industry. Uh, like so many of us who start, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know much about the water. We don't know much about the company or anything like that. I was scared. I was honestly scared, just like just like if you're you're just starting out, you know, and you don't know much, so you're scared. But I had the hustle and the drive in me because I had the vision so clear of where I wanted to be, or, or not where I wanted to be, where I needed to be. You know, as a father, as a husband, as a you know, as a friend, as as a business person, I my vision was so clear. Like Wade shared with you guys at the beginning, your vision's got to be so clear. My vision was, um, and I just went straight to hustle. I, I you know, thank goodness that I had um, Wade there to be right by my side, and and took took me on, took me under his wings, and said, okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this with you, 
and I, I can't thank him enough. Uh, and that was the all. We started the all-out massive action before we knew what all-out massive action was, and now we know what it is. Uh, not only do we do it, we practice it, we share it, we teach it, and we you know build our teams this way. But all-out massive action is is literally that. You know, um, I go, I personally go all-out massive action, the hustle, uh, twice a year. You know, from uh, right more recently uh, from September. October, November, we're gearing up right now. We're gearing up with you, with all of you right now. We invite you to lock arms with us and go all out massive action starting in September because it's September, October, November. You know, this way we can have our holidays. You know, I love to have, spend, I love spending the holidays, you know, with cash flow coming in and being, having time with my friends and my family and ending my year strong. And then starting again, the all-out massive action when it comes January 2nd or January 3rd. You know, I party just like everybody else, celebrate, bring in the new year, January uh, the 31st and the 1st. And I give myself 24, 40 hours to, to just recharge the batteries. And then it's, you know, head, head down and, you know, focus forward uh, January, February, March. So, you know, that, for me, that, that, that hustle allows me to live the lifestyle that I've always dreamt of and, and share with you guys that, you know, we can take the holidays off, you can take spring break off, you can, you know, during the springtime work a little bit less and just coast through it and then summertime, you know, spend the beautiful weather, uh, spend the beautiful time up here in the Pacific Northwest, you know, in the weather. So the hustle is what Wade wanted me to talk about. I love All Out Massive Action like I was sharing with you guys. I'm ready to do it. Anybody who wants to do All Out Massive Action or wants to lock arms or wants to you know, co coordinate, let's do it because that's what motivates me as well. When I'm working with somebody that's going 200 miles an hour, I'm going 201 miles an hour. I'm, I'm dead serious. So if you want to go that fast, I'm ready to go that fast. Learn as you earn. In this business, that's what I did. I, I didn't know anything. I learned as I earned. And one of the most gratifying things that I've, that I've seen in this company and, and this project is when we go to these conferences and I'm, we're sitting back and we're watching people collect their, their bonus checks, you know, their rank checks, you know, 3000 6000 12000 25000 whatever that check is, $200,000 with Cynthia Bagante. You know, when I look at that, to me, that's an accomplishment that they earned as they learned. It's like going to school, but instead of paying for your degree or diploma, you earned as you as you learn, and then when you got to your rank, you got your diploma in a sense in this business. You got paid. You don't owe more. You get more. So I, I love to learn as you earn with this this project here. At the very beginning, teach your successes. You know, I was hustling, um, and 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 I had some success. Uh, that's what I taught, and that's what you should teach. You know, tell people, tell your teammates, your new your, your newbies on your team. You know, your upline, your downline, your sideline you know, how you got your last sale and ask them how they got their, their last sale because that creates energy and synergy and, and momentum. So um, teach your successes and, and share other people's successes, you know, that's what I've done. Uh, feel in your, you know, going back to the hustle, are you really hustling or you think you're hustling? Are you, are you, are you is your time productive each day? Um, look at your calendar. Uh, that's my boss. The calendar is my boss. That really determines my paycheck. Uh, I, I have bills just like everybody else, but if my calendar is not full, that means I'm not doing something that's productive, in my opinion. I'm not meeting with clients. I'm not doing presentations. I'm not training. I'm not moving our organization, our team forward. So self-guilt? Yeah. So my calendar is always full. That's the hustle. I don't let myself slow down. I fill in my calendar. Uh, inspire, inspire your your friends and your family and your teammates of the, of your vision. You got to have a vision, and then ask them about their vision so that you can help them with their vision. When I first started, and I was pretty successful in the first few months, and there was a Super Saturday down in in Everett, Washington, and my, my one of my mentors back then, Mita. Mita wanted me to speak at the Super Saturday. I did not want to speak. I was scared. I was shaking in my boots. Uh, literally, and uh, she said, "See how? What if? What if you could help somebody in the audience who's in the same hurt as you are?" So I was, I was, I was health, I was unhealthy, and I was financially hurt. I was just a wreck, but I saw a vision. I saw that a magic could pull, pull, pull me out of this, and it was pulling me out of this. But Mita inspired me to tell my story on stage, and I've never stopped then. And you know what? I'm a, I'm so happy to be a part of so many success stories. You know, just in whatever way that I can be. So I, I share that with you. In the hustle, help other people. 
you know, bring value to them. You know, show them what you what, what you're about, what you can do. Give the most value you can. Um, do what you love. Uh, I, that's part of the hustle as well. Doing what you love, doing what you're good at. Tony Robbins says, "Are you know in business, uh, in, in a successful business as a business person, are you the artist? Are you the are are you the creator? The artist or the creator? Is that your strength, or are you the manager slash leader? You know, is that your strength? Are you the entrepreneur? Whatever that, whatever your strengths are of those, you know, do that. Start with that because." Whatever your strengths are, usually that's the easiest for you to do, and that's what you're so good at. And you can start developing the other things. So I, you know, I, I'd like to, I'd like to have a, a, an even balance of all of it. But honestly, when 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 I when I was going through the training with the, with uh, Tony Robbins, I believe my strengths are in entrepreneurship, um, manager, leader, and then artist and creator. You know, that's the visionary thing as well. So I'd like to keep a balance, but he says focus on one. Um, your, that, that, that's your strength, your hustle. My vision for you, for my vision from the very beginning and, and will continue, my vision is to help as many people as possible get to whatever rank in this Enagic project that they want to get to. If your rank is 6A, 6A2, 6A2-2, 2-3, 2-4, 2-4, whatever your rank that you want to you want to get to, not what I want you to, not what we want you to, but what you want to, I will not quit until you get to that rank. That is my vision from the beginning. That's my vision that will carry me through no matter what rank I am. So that's my hustle. That's my two, that's my words of advice back to you guys. I love you all. I thank you all. I couldn't be here without any of you. So was it worth it? It absolutely is so worth it from where I was to where I am and where we are all going. Thank you so much, you guys. Back to you guys. And guys, just so you know, that that's not coming from someone just making stuff up. That's a guy that's got the rank, the cash flow, the uh, impact, and he's helped a lot of people, and he's helped his own family. I mean, the transformation of health just in your own family is pretty remarkable, you know. Thank you. And uh, it, always, it always makes me feel good to see that and see such a wonderful vision and how you sold, sold that idea to other people and reawakened, rekindled, the American spirit, the American dream inside of so many other people and, uh, you know, and, and, and Creel, the same goes to you and, and how you've brought the organizational skills to the, or to, to the business and, and, and shown people how to really structure their day in a way that's productive and a way that's effective and how to identify the specific skills that people know. Which leads me to the next thing. Guys, um, I pop this into the chat. We're going to go to questions in a second. You're going to see the eventbrite.com. Turbo Sunday, September 11th, Vancouver at the Diamond Ballroom. So, you know that old song, I may be an old chunk of coal, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. Well, the time for the diamond is now. We're going to the Diamond Room. We're going to get clear like a diamond, we're going to get hard like a diamond, and we're going to get sparkling like a diamond. So we're going to take the vision, the skills, and the hustle, and we're going to wrap it all up into one beautiful five-hour, no-holds-barred, straight-from-the-heart talk. And that's the link. That's the tickets. That's how you get there. You be there. And the reality is, is this. There's something magic that happens at events. People make commitments at events. And this is an opportunity where you're going to get hands-on, picture time, talk time, your questions answered, all that stuff from some of the best in the business. And these guys are the best in the business. And they're going to pour out their hearts. They're going to put away all the fluff. There's no, this, this isn't like every Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to get up there and tell their story and ramble on something. No. This is skills. This is actionable test. This is the engineering blueprint of how to build your business. Nothing else. There's, no, there's nothing else. There's not a bunch of tools being sold. There's no acrobats. There's no sing songs. There's none of that. It's just bullet, 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 bullet. That's it. Nothing. Five hours, you're done. You have lunch. You take a pee break at some point. We're not taking breaks. We're going for it. It's on. And you know what? There's going to be a few people that are going to go to this thing and they're going to get it. 
And when Christmas comes, they're going to make 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100K over those 90 days. Is it going to be you? It can be. But you got to show up. Maybe you're not, not quite where you want to be. Maybe you slacked off. Maybe things haven't gone. Maybe you've struggled. Maybe you've tried everything. Man, no, no, nobody's buying. This is the event. This will be the this 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 event to get like where these guys are tracking and their global ambitions and stuff. You will never get a better time to get in the room with these guys and hang out with them and ask them questions. You will never, ever, mark my words, you will never get an opportunity like this. Take advantage of it. Be there. We've got tickets. They're limited. Uh, they're only 20 bucks. Super cheap. Bring people. I brought Creel way back in the day. Someone brought Creel, and Creel made a decision to do this at one of those events. Uh, Seahaw went to one of those events, made a decision. I was brought to a big event, made a decision. Think of the millions of dollars that have been made from those events. If you talk to the top people that got to an event, they looked around the room and went, wow. You're exactly right. You're exactly wow, right. Wow. There's social proof. You need social proof in your business. Those friends that don't believe in you, the people that aren't so sure, pay for their ticket and bring them. You're exactly right. You're bring exactly them out. Right. Spend two hundred bucks. Buy. Bring ten people. You'll get two. You'll get two. You'll get two that'll go six in. I want to Work. show this real quick. I brought yeah. Shelly. I brought Shelly Osley, which was my first sale. Who didn't want to do the business? Who's a six A? But it's her teammates down in the line that got me to a six A two dash three, and it was because of an event in Vancouver, BC. So yeah. you're absolutely right. Get your people to these events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, yeah, it's so, so critical. There's something magic happens at events. There's a social thing. There's a switch that goes on in our like reptilian brain or amygdala or whatever you want to call it somewhere down there that goes on, and it goes from here into your heart. There's a story told. There's a thing that goes. There's a light bulb that goes. I don't know. It's something weird. And every time I go to an event, I go, oh, I wish I had more people at this, you know? And every year, there's more and more people on my team there, but we the same. So anyways, uh, questions. Uh, oh, by the way, before we get so hit the questions. Uh, great to see you, Roger. Michael, so glad to have you on the So we got Cameron with a question. 20K pins. They got, see this? Here we go. Can you see that? Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of backwards, probably, because they, I don't know if you can see that right. But anyways, 20K gold pins. And magic is given out. What are they giving out? What do you got to do? You got to make three sales from September to the end of December. Three sales. So three sales, you get this beautiful gold pin. And let me tell you, when you pin one of these pins on your jacket, and I got one of these pins, see, so I can't tell you. I go to airports, I go to seminars, I go to events, people go, what's up? What's that pin going on there? It's amazing. It's you want a pin. Three sales. Think about the three sales are going to do to your life. How much money is that going to be? Is that is that is that money going to make a difference in your life? Some people it's a thousand bucks. Some people that's two thousand bucks. Some people that's six thousand bucks. Where where are you at? Three sales can do it. Can really make you have a nice Christmas. So uh, you want to find out about that at in magic. Uh, questions. I uh, love questions. I love it when people ask questions. Where can we access the email templates? And I would love to have Creel's PowerPoint presentation, Mr. Cam Sawyer. Well, the email templates are in the Prosperity and Health Alliance emails. Do, do you remember what number then that is, uh, Creel? I, I don't remember which one it is. No, I'd have to check out the outline, which I can. I'll, I'll pull up here. See what I got on that one. I, I knew you'd have this. <laughs> Sio, Sio and I were just going. Kirill's got everything dialed in. Like he's like teamwork. What makes a dream work? Love it. Precise. Love so, it. I think we have twenty-four emails, basically, isn't it? Twenty-four. Yeah. Twenty-four yeah. emails. Here, I'm pulling it up now. Um, sure. I'll get the number. And okay. so. Cam, if you're, we're going to re-release the 2.0 version. We're making, cleaning it up a little bit, and that's going to get re-released. 
September 12th. Um, and then those 24 emails are going to go out again to people, but it's going to be over a 90-day stretch. So for people that have already loaded up, which you would have because you're here, um, you can go back and check, and uh, I'll tell you which email it's going to be in, in a second. It will pull up. Yeah. So just so, just so you know, um, if you check your email, there will be a PHA, like 1, PHA, 2, PHA, 12, so like all the way up to 24, and inside those, if you put that in your Google search bar, if you've got a Gmail account, for example, then you will be able to actually find these specific table of contents, and you're going to you're gonna want to have this, and, and we're going to send this table of contents out to everybody on the new version. We will be relaunching this series for everybody that's got that buried in their email box and forgotten about it and can't find it and doesn't know what's happening. We are going to relaunch it. Uh, we're, it's upgraded. There's some new edits in it. We've got some accompanying videos that are coming with that. We're really taking it to the next level uh, for you guys. We've listened to you. We've heard your questions. We've seen your challenges and all that sort of stuff. But let me tell you, there's no organization in all of Enagic that has this. Not one. So the reality is, is um, you're in the right place in the right time. Now, do we have any other questions? And that's going to be uh, PHA8. It's email number eight. Email number eight. All the templates. I mean, it's done for you. You'll go, I don't have time to write. Cut and paste. Learn how to cut and paste. That's all you need. Cut, paste, change the name. Cut, paste, change the name. Cut, paste, change the name. If you can do that, you can build a business. And what that does is that allows you to scale up. That means you can get into 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 conversations and be just rolling them along. And these are all done. These are proven things. You don't have to invent the wheel. You don't even have to do spell check. It's done. I did it, you'd have spell check, but Creel did it, so it's all good. So uh, with that, we don't have any more questions. Uh, I understand it's August. It's the last week of summer. I want you to go out, have fun, drink some Kool-Aid, have some barbecues, get some sand in your shoes, because the cold wind of the fall is blowing. The wind changes here. September 11th, we're going to do it. We're going to be here. These guys are going to be here. We're lock and loaded, 90 days of all-out massive action, kicking it off to Christmas time. Santa Claus himself is ramping up things at the, at, the, at the workshop. The elves are screaming murder because they know we are going to be buying a lot of presents this year with our team. So we had a call with him the other day, and he says he's up. He's up for it. The elves aren't happy, but so what? We're doing it. So with that, my friends, uh, I want to thank you all from my brothers. Mr. Creel Hutchinson, Mr. Seha Top, I want to congratulate you for the exploding through the new ranks and the teams that are involved. I know there's a lot of people out there that are working really hard. Uh, when you hit those ranks, it's a team effort. It's not about the, the leader. It's about everybody in the organization. And I want to say thank you so much for being part of this process. I mean, you know, all money aside, the friends that we've made, the connections that we've had, the experiences that we've gotten to experience, and are going to continue doing for who knows how long, is, is truly remarkable. So if you're a 1A, a 2A, a 3A, a 4A, a I don't know A, it's worth it. And uh, I, it, it just really is. It, it, you're really not going to get an experience like this ever again. So I uh, uh, love you guys, and I love the team. Great to have you on board. I want to thank Kimmy. As always, keeping everything on the back end, dialed, smiling, dialed. By the way, she's building a wonderful business down in Louisville, Kentucky. Look her up on Facebook. Yeah. She's got some great stuff. You want to see stuff on Facebook, check out check out Kim and check out Roger Gadette. Does great stuff as well. A couple uh, great leaders in our organization doing some beautiful, beautiful things. So uh, thank you again so much, guys. Great to have you on the call. Next week, it's the Danny D. Macaulay call. We won't be here, but we, it'll be the week after. We'll be back. So get ready. All right. Good night, Good night everybody. Love you all. Bye for now. Thanks. <laughs>